Now, when I'm creating a new chart, go to new and select charts, I can put on the symbol of my choosing. And once I have this loaded on, I can scroll down. And then I could also change as well the bar width. If I want to have a little bit width for those candles, I could change the different chart type. I like using candlesticks. And then I could also change the color scheme for the body. All I have to do is click the carrot and change the color to whatever I desire. And then I can also make it really thick or I can make it like it is right now currently set to one. I could also change the wick to a different color if I choose. Just click the carrot and select the color scheme I would like. And then I'm also able to adjust the different candles. If I want to change the down bars, the bearish candles, I could change that to a different color. Maybe instead of red, you want to change it to purple. And for bullish candles or increased price candles, you could change that as well. Maybe I want to change that to yellow. If I have the configuration set up, I would like, I just select OK. And once this new chart loads, it will have the color scheme for the candlesticks that we set up on the previous page. And if you would like to adjust those candles, you could right click on your chart and select data series. And once data series is selected, you could change the different colors. Maybe you want to change it to royal blue for your down candles. Select apply and you could test it on the chart to see if you like that color configuration. You can also further edit your chart parameters by right clicking and going to properties. And from here, you're able to change some other colors such as the background. You could change it right from here if you'd like it to be a different color. Let's change this to silver. You can select apply and it will change it to a silver background. You can also change the crosshair labels. Right now it's set to dark green, but you can change it to something different, maybe beige. For inactive price markers, you could change that to a different color. For any text, you could change that to a different color. Change that to magenta. And as you see, the text turned purple. You could also change some of the different lines, like your access lines. You could change your crosshair tool color. You could change your grid lines, either horizontal or vertical. And then also as well, that panel splitter, which you can see down here below. Once you have that set up, you can go to preset. And if you have the settings that you would like for their chart, you can just go to save and it will save that particular chart setup. Click OK, and now that'll be set up with this configuration.